I'm gonna give this one a pass. It's a not for me. <laughs> haven't had an iced kind of coffee there's no ice in here uh, in so long I guess since kind of like summertime there's no ice because I don't normally keep ice in the fridge unless I know I'm gonna make like iced coffees with otherwise like the ice gets stale but um oh, it tastes so good it's such a warm day outside today so I thought I've wanted something a little refreshing it can milk be refreshing I guess it can we just got back from a walk with my sister and Angus was with us we always like make sure that he's like far behind walking chippy so we're walking in pairs like he's walking chippy and I'm walking with my sister I just want to make sure we keep that distance and we're not together we're not like breaking any rules or anything but like he also wants to go for a walk and doesn't want to sit at home most times he might be at work so it's usually just me and my sister but today he was like you know it's such a nice day so and Chippy just loves going with Angus so like they do their own thing yesterday I gave myself like a day off from vlogging or filming or anything uh, but we did go to the supermarket and I haven't put the stuff away I thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff I got I only got a few things I didn't really need any like fridge items because I still have some stuff left over from last week but I might need to go this week and get like freshen up on like strawberries and stuff like that I just wanted to make sure that they were as fresh as possible rather than just keeping them in the fridge uh, so let me show you guys I grabbed one onion <laughs> I eat onions here and there sometimes I forget and I just think one's enough uh, I'm nearly out of my dressing and this is my favorite the creamy parmesan Caesar dressing it's the Beerenberg yep Beerenberg brand this is such a great dressing uh, me and my sister like we really enjoy it with our salad like we put chicken in a salad it's so good I grabbed some oh these are sesame okay interesting uh, corn things I thought I was just grabbing the original I didn't even read uh, never tried sesame ones okay that's all right they I like sesame seeds anyway and they're organic I did not realize that they didn't have a huge uh, variety to choose from but I grabbed myself uh, this mild salsa it's the Doritos brand one and I feared like as a nice snack I could have some corn things with the salsa and that should also like make me feel like I'm eating chips without feeling like I'm eating chips so because I like both of these isn't it funny how like I just don't eat tomatoes like I hate tomatoes but I will eat like a salsa because it's kind of tomato based but like if there's a chunk of a tomato I take it out but it, otherwise I like to, I like sauce. Angus actually had bought two of this Ava so he got, he gave me one. It's this Doroni homemade Ava looks like this. I think this is Bulgarian made. Yeah, product of Bulgaria. But it's just, it's so nice. I don't know if you guys have ever tried Avod. It's just like a bunch of roasted peppers that they then kind of mash up and then it looks like a relish. Yeah, the ingredients say, yeah, red peppers and tomato paste pretty much. And there's a few other like little things in there like salt and stuff but uh this is the hot one so i like it like especially if you eat it like on bread with feta cheese delicious I had I've run out of my boost the multivitamins and they actually didn't have any at the Coles I went to so I ended up getting the magnesium one and because I was reading like which one would be also good for me and the magnesium has like supports muscle function your nervous system health bone health uh, and general health and well-being so I thought that's a good one to try I'm pretty sure my mum even takes magnesium tablets so I thought I'll try this one I needed a mouthwash. Coles does not sell my mouthwash. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know I buy the white one. My favorite of all time. I do like Oral-B though, so I grabbed this one. Because we've been going to Coles more so than Woolies these days. Because we like to get our like fly by points. I don't know. My sister became part of some Facebook group where you get... I feel like more bang for your buck or something or rather with the flybys instead of the Woolworths points. So now we just go to Coles and we get also like collect points and get those freebie things anyways in saying that 
Coles, Coles doesn't have the white one and Col not that Coles will ever watch this but like they need to get the white one also I'll try this one now and then lastly I got the scrub mummy my sister highly recommends it she's got the scrub mummy and the scrub daddy uh, the scrub daddy is just yellow on both sides and then the scrub mummy has the pink and the yellow and this one looked to me more uh, more I was gonna say sensitive but I don't think this is a scrubber and a sponge and I need more sponge because the dishes I have I have to hand wash all my dishes as you guys know I don't have a dishwasher and whereas the other one is more a scourer scrubber on both sides so I probably need it more for just like dishes and stuff and I've I've actually heard about it my sister thinks it's so great so I want to try it let me know if you guys do use it or I'm, I'm happy to let you guys know if I like it because uh, it's cute too though but um they had, them on, they had them on sale at Coles but I only just grabbed the one and that's all that I got I'm now going to drink my coffee make myself some breakfast and I've got to do a thumbnail and don't really know what else I'll do today. it is monday morning i washed my hair today but i thought i'll just do like a really quick rough job of like a blow dry because we're gonna go for a walk with chip so it'll dry in the sun but i kind of felt like wearing it straight for once because i feel like i wear it curly like all the time now i also put a little bit of self tanner on my legs because i find the top half is always like a little bit more tanned i guess it gets more sun and my legs are always so white so Put a little bit of self tanner because I haven't taken Instagram pics in ages and I thought maybe I'll go through some of my wardrobe, especially some of my winter stuff that I'm probably not going to wear anymore. Maybe take a few pics, maybe put a bit of makeup. We'll see where the day takes us. I was thinking of filming today like a different video, but I'm kind of not feeling it, so I might leave that for tomorrow. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Who knows when I come back from a walk, I might feel differently. Just got a few other like odds and end things to do as well. Um, behind the scenes stuff as you call it and just you know like bills and all of that sort of stuff as well so i uh, also go do some washing so um i will catch you up with you guys when we get home <music> back got on a bit of makeup there was a bit of a nosebleed situation and I got blood on my top so got rid of that but we're back here and I was thinking I have some old bananas and you know if you know me you know I would like never go anywhere near these kind of bananas as I actually like mine green and but the thing is I didn't want to throw them out I feel like they're too far gone to like freeze them so i thought let me try out some banana recipes like let's give it a go i think i've tried these before i want to try the uh banana pancakes and i feel like i've tried it ages ago i don't remember so i'm thinking let's give it a go i'm gonna do like half a banana and one egg and then you mash it up together and then we're gonna try and cook it and see how it works so there's my fork there's my bowl let's start mashing i'm gonna mash that down in a separate bowl, I'm going to whisk up one egg. I'm using the same fork because I'm already annoyed that I have to wash two extra bowls. I'm also going to put some cinnamon in it for a little bit of flavour. Alright, so far, okay, I think I put a touch too much cinnamon in, but that's okay. Pop the egg in. And now we'll mix it together. Added in a little bit more of the banana because it looked a little too eggy for me. Now we're going to, I've got my fry pan here. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. Okay, that's what it looks like. I have left probably for one more. And you know what I was thinking? I'm going to pop my, what is this, butter toffee syrup and see if that gives it a bit of a different flavour. Um, it was too slimy to turn and then it was actually burnt on one side, so I don't know. Let's hopefully the second one is better. Okay, there's a second one. It's not that big. It's like the normal size of a normal pancake, but I don't know. I've turned the heat down, so we'll see. <laughs> no. 
So that was literally a fail from me. I'm sure I've tried this before and it hasn't worked. I don't know why. My pen is meant to be non-stick, but I don't know. Uh, let's give it... It looks like uh, scrambled eggs, though. I don't like the texture. No, it doesn't taste like a pancake at all. Like, pancake tastes bready. No, I don't like it. second one turned out worse. Maybe I did need to make a more of an egg ratio. But then it will be like scrambled eggs. Hmm. I'm going to give this one a pass. It's uh, not for me. <laughs> okay, seeing as that was a fail, I have another banana. Uh, the next recipe that I saw was literally just like caramelizing bananas. So I'm going to like fry up the banana and put a little bit of cinnamon on there. And then I'm assuming that should be good because at least it's still a banana. <laughs> so let's, let's cut some up. Okay, I've got the bananas there. This time I just used my regular spray bottle to spray a bit of oil on there. So I'm going to cook one side and then I'm going to probably put the cinnamon on the other side. or Because I don't really want it to stick. Then put a little bit on this side. You know what? I'm going to use cinnamon sugar instead of cinnamon. Okay, I flipped them over. It smells so good. And put a little bit of cinnamon on this side. And then I'm going to cook them a little bit further. They don't look uh, the most appealing by looks, but uh, let's give it a try. Actually, it smells really good. I guess like the cinnamon, as I said, it doesn't look pretty. They've kind of all really softened. This would probably be nice on pancakes, I guess. It's nice. It's very mushy. Um, I'm not a big fan of like mushy. Would I make it again? No. Okay, time to make lunch. And I decided to do this the Mr. Chen's Malaysian Laksa kit. I've already opened it up. It comes with like the pre-made soupy bit, the noodles and then the freeze-dried ingredients, herby stuff that you add in there. So it just says to bring the soup to a boil and then add the noodles in there. It says to add prawns. I totally freaking forgot to buy prawns and I don't have any frozen ones. So I'm just going to use the chicken that I have. I mean, that should be okay. So, um, you know, let's not hope it's a fail like everything else. Let's see how we go. Okay, and it says to add 500 mils of water to this. So this was in that silver sachet. Okay, I've stirred that through and now we just got to bring it to a boil. I'm now going to add the noodles. Oh, don't splash. And adding this packet. Okay, I also added some chicken in there. The noodles don't really seem to be separating. Maybe it's just got to... I'm going to simmer it now for like five minutes and see what happens. Actually, it says boil for five minutes, so we're going to boil it for five minutes. Alrighty, it is in the bowl. I haven't filled it up to the top because, you know, just in case I don't like it, but it smells pretty much similar to the time like when I made my version, so... It's a bit hot now, but hopefully it tastes good. You know, I was never into like soupy stuff. My mum used to make like when I was younger, this thing called manja and I just didn't want a bar of it. And now just hearing the word, I'm like, no thanks, I don't want it. And it looks very similar to this. Definitely does not smell or taste anything like it. Um, but it was like more of a stew and I just never really liked soups and stuff. But I feel like now that I've grown up, I do, I like soups and stews and things like that. I guess we change with age. Um, usually I like it with bread, but I guess because there's noodles, but okay. Chip is napping under the table and I just had to put the socks on his like paws. He's only got it on the front paws because he doesn't think the back paws as much. And when I put the socks on the back paws, he finds it a little bit hard to like walk. So therefore I just put on the front ones and it's only while he's at home when it's time to go for a walk, I just take them off. And then last night he actually slept in them uh, because that's usually the biggest problem time. It's like before he goes to bed, he licks his paws and then when he wakes up, he licks his paws. And so he had them on like... I could tell he wasn't happy, but it was like I could see that he wasn't in pain or anything. So like sometimes I feel like you know maybe he'll learn his lesson. The the uncomfortability of wearing the socks or shoes or whatever they call them, I call them socks, um, might mean that he's gonna stop leaking. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, it's hot. It's good. It tastes a little vinegary, but I don't mind that. That's not too bad at all. Okay. Well, I'm going to have this, so I'll check out what's happening on YouTube land and I'll catch you guys later. Well, look who it is. Hi, Chip. Oh, you want to go outside? 
right, off you go. We are now in my glam room. I actually closed the door because it was noisy and windy out there, but Chippy heard the door close and woke up. So what we've got to do is we've got to put some clothes away. I've got all this stuff that needs to be put away. Some of it I used in videos, some I was pulling out to think I was going to use in videos. And then that's turned into a mess. So what I want to do is pick out the winter stuff from there and I'm going to move it to like that side of the wardrobe. Because winter is pretty much over and I'm going to put the bulkier stuff away because I never opened that side of the wardrobe and that's why things are a mess because I keep looking for things and I just don't have enough room to store everything so um, time to do a bit of cleaning. <music> dresses I don't wear them all and the ones that like I don't really wear um I'll just fold them up the others go on a hanger I don't have room for all stuff that was here and I brought some stuff over from my other room. I never even got to wear this this winter. My like big fluffy Tommy jumper. We really want to go to the snow this year but that didn't work out. And then there's these sort of neat things that sometimes I wear, sometimes I don't and I'm always like do I get rid of it, don't I? And then I just end up keeping them. <laughs> Okay, so we're done for now. I still have some things in my other bedroom, like my sleepwear and some other things because the weather's like up and down. One day it's hot, one day it's cold. It doesn't know what it is. So I'm still probably going to wait a couple of weeks into September, maybe beginning of October before I actually pack up the whole winter wardrobe and really, really go through it. I've actually gone through some stuff now and I really need to like toss some things because I can't even like give them to anyone else and then pop some things in like a bag and donate uh, because a lot of the stuff like if I if I didn't wear it last winter or this winter then it's got to go enough of this like maybe one day I'll wear it does anyone else do that like the maybe I'll wear it so I don't want to throw it out and then I never wear it don't get me started on the clothes that I have of them maybe I'm going to fit into it because I always toss them out every year all right let me show you what the wardrobe looks like so this side where I've put my jeans and then I found Christmas stuff. So I've got Christmas tops there so then they're easily, to, I can find them easy in Christmas time. Um, some dresses, I've tried to look like, they're, they're pretty neat. They probably don't look as neat but I've like turned them all so they look okay. More dresses and then there's some area left here in case I have other stuff that I might want to put in here from the actual wardrobe a bit because I didn't really go through kind of that bit of the wardrobe but it's just fine for now. And then over here I did like winter like jeans and things and then some more winter stuff and then winter stuff in the bottom section there. Okay, my battery is about to die so I'm going to sign off here. I hope I have enough vlog content for this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next week, I don't know, I'm going to be a little bit less probably on the videos just to some of the stuff that I have on in the week. So um, I will probably resume the week after. The, I'm not sure when this is going to go up this week, next week. Anyway, stay tuned. There, there is videos coming, so I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and thanks for being subscribed. See you. Bye.